Hi, I'm Zhi Peng from Intel Labs. This work is an empirical study about online continual learning. In online continual learning, the model performs inference and learning continually from a stream of data. At each time step, the environment generates a set of data from a possibly non-stationary distribution. Given the newly generated data, the model first predicts their labels. Then the environment reviews the true labels for the new data. Finally, the model updates itself using previous data and labels. Unlike the offline counterpart that allows infinite amount of computation at each time step, online continual learning only allows a fixed amount of computation for model update. Previous literatures mostly focus on improving information retention, which is the model's ability to remember previous knowledge. In this work, we focus more on improving the learning efficacy, which is the model's ability to quickly adapt to new data. The contribution of this work lies in three folds. First, we propose a new continual learning benchmark that is large-scale and with natural distribution shifts. Then, we use the new benchmark to analyze the behavior of gradient-based optimization in online continual learning. Based on the analysis, we propose effective strategies to improve the performance of online continual learning. Previous benchmarks for continual learning are mostly generated by synthesizing a sequence of tasks using supervised learning benchmarks. In this work, we propose a new benchmark called Continual Localization, or CLOC for abbreviation. CLOC is constructed using images with timestamps and geolocations. The data stream of clock is generated by ordering images according to their timestamps. Compared to previous benchmarks, clock has a much larger scale. It contains 39 million images span over 8 years. And the distribution shift of clock is naturally embedded in the change of time. We empirically verify the distribution shift of clock by training supervised learning models on data from different time ranges. The model trained only on data from year 2010 had a sharp performance drop on other years. We used ResNet50 with Experience Replay as the baseline for our study and analyzed three major optimization components of online continual learning. In the learning rate analysis, we train our baseline model with different learning rate schedules, including the constant schedule, cosine schedule, and adaptive learning rate schedule via population-based search. We observed that the ideal learning rates for learning efficacy and transfer are different. Specifically, the adaptive learning rate schedule produced by population-based search is more suitable for learning efficacy. If transfer is prioritized and there is a predefined training horizon, the cosine schedule is better. For replay buffer size analysis, we train models with varied replay buffer sizes. We observe that for learning efficacy, the optimal buffer size changes over time. We also find that the replay buffer size can be adapted by comparing the accuracy difference between replay data and the online data stream. Specifically, when the replay buffer size is too small, the training accuracy on the data stream will be much smaller than the accuracy on replay data, and vice versa if the replay data is too large. Based on the observation, we propose an algorithm that can adapt the replay buffer size over time to improve learning efficacy with almost no extra computational cost. In terms of batch sizes, by comparing models trained with different batch sizes, we observe that increasing the batch size, even by a small factor, for example from 64 to 256, has a strong negative effect on online continual learning. This suggests that the smallest possible batch size should be used. With the proposed strategies, the average online accuracy of our online continual learning model was better than the validation accuracy of supervised learning models given similar budgets. This result shows the potential of online continual learning in real-world applications. It also indicates that learning efficacy and information retention are conflicting objectives in some aspect. Hence, different optimization strategies should be applied to them. That is all for my talk today. Please refer to our paper and GitHub repo for more details. And welcome to our poster session on Wednesday morning and Friday afternoon. Thank you.